As we know, communication is so important in the workplace, in our personal lives. Most of the time, it's that we're not actively listening. So try to listen. Listen to what the other person is saying. Rather than coming up with responses as they're talking, just listen to what they say. Most of the problems in relationships, it's because we don't actively listen to what the other person is saying. Sometimes people say to me, I don't know what to say, so I wanted to go over that today. Let's talk about scenarios at work. You need an extension. There's a deadline approaching. So rather than saying, I can't do this, there's a deadline approaching, take more responsibility. Show them why you need a deadline. People want a win-win situation. So communicate what your needs are. And rather than saying, I can't do this, there's too much on my plate, I need an extension, or you could say something that's probably more aligned with what they want to hear. I understand the importance of meeting a deadline, but given a one-week extension, we could provide a more polished result. Now again, if they're involved in this, they want that more polished result. What about asking for help? Could you help me with this? Now, you could do that, or you could say, I really appreciate the skill and the expertise that you have in whatever it is, and I would appreciate your input in helping with this. Do you think we can schedule some time so that we can go over this? Do you have some time in your schedule to work on this? However you want to say it. It sounds better because you're giving them a compliment rather than just saying, I need help with this. And if you feel like you've given too much work, you can tell them that. You could say something like, I can't handle all of this. This is too much for me. Or you could say something like, I appreciate the responsibilities you've given me. I want to ensure a quality outcome. I'd like to discuss prioritizing tasks. Can we review and possibly redistribute to optimize efficiency and outcome, which sounds better to you? What about if you don't agree? You could say, I don't agree with that. Or you could say something like, I appreciate your time and effort. I appreciate your expertise. However, I do have concerns and list out what they are. Or you could say, I see potential challenges, and again, list out what they are. And you could say something like, I suggest we explore other alternatives. What do you think of that? And when you're asking them like that, they have input, they're involved. If you're going to ask for a salary raise, you could just say, I'd like a raise. Or you could say, I've consistently delivered results and listed out. I've taken additional responsibilities this year, listed out. I'd like to discuss the possibility of a salary review. Could we schedule this? What about that annoying behavior? Stop. Stop doing that. No one likes to be told to stop doing something. You could say something like, I've noticed whatever the behavior is. Can we work together to find a solution for that? What about when you have to give feedback? Instead of saying you're not meeting expectations, I've noticed some challenges in our shared goals. Let's discuss specific expectations and how we can align our efforts to ensure we're on the same page. Can we schedule a meeting to go over this? What about engagement when someone's not engaged? Let them know. Collaboration is really important. Collaboration is the key to success. I value your input. I believe your expertise could greatly benefit our team. Can we explore ways for you to contribute your skills more actively? What if you don't like the way that things are being done? You could say this is terrible. I don't like the way that things are getting done. Or you may say something like, I've identified some efficiencies in the current processes that may be affecting our outcome. I consider or I propose that we make some adjustments to improve the efficiency and the overall effectiveness. What do you think? What if someone is late? You're always late. Most people don't want to hear that. They know that they're late. You could say something like, I've noticed that our meetings start later and it decreases our productivity. Let's shoot for a punctual start. This way we get more out of our meeting. Can we commit to being on time moving forward? What about decision making? I'm making the decision. I don't need your input. Or you could ask the person, I'm currently in the process of making the decision. I value your skill, your input, your insights. I'd like to discuss the matter further with you. Can we schedule some time to meet? People want to be valued. They want to be heard. The biggest tips with communication are always actively listening, including the other person people want to feel valued, and how you can bring them into the discussion. No one likes to be pushed away. No one likes to feel undervalued. So how is it that you can make someone else feel valued? 
When we approach with empathy, we're being inclusive. That makes us more likable, it makes us better leaders, and it makes us more effective at communication.